today I'll be talking about graphics. Graphics. And I wish it was my birthday today because then I get some cool presents. But today it's this rabbit's birthday, so he gets all the presents. Uh, JPEG. What does JPEG mean? Uh, well, basically it means Joint for Xbox Group. Um, they designed this file format to accommodate to uh, photographers for pictures because it has all the colors. If you take a photograph, there's millions of colors in that photograph. And basically, JPEG, will, you'll be able to see all those colors. Um, and it keeps the quality. It is a compressed version of a photo. So similar to an MP3 is a compressed version of a music file, JPEG is a compressed version of a picture file. Um, when you sh is it not suitable? JPEG is not suitable for images with large block color or simple shapes because the crisp lines will blur and colors can shift. So we would want to use GIF or uh, ping for that. Here's an example of uh, JPEG compression that I know you haven't seen. Um, you guys know when you're in Photoshop you go to file, save as, and then um, it says high quality, medium quality, basically you're choosing how much to like compress it or to like um, save the quality. If you have zero compression, that means full, high quality, no compression, you get full value. But once you go to 60%, notice it's a little bit more blurry, and then at 80%, it's even more blurry, and then 99%, it's like pixelated. So that's an example of like compression and how it compresses to a small, um, file. Now, the bad thing is, well, if you compress it, it the, you lose the quality. But what's the advantage? Yeah, smaller file space. So you're able to do more with it. It loads faster, too, on the computer if you're using it. Um, let's look at some examples. Um, here's JPEG high quality. Okay, there's high quality right here. Now, tell me if you can tell a difference between that one and I'm gonna look at medium quality. I mean, can you tell a big difference? No, not too much. So, not, bigger is not always better, you know? Like, this is half the size medium quality, but medium quality look just as good as high quality. That's because on a computer screen, you can't really see the difference that well. Like, the computer screen has so many pixels and so much thing that the eye can see. What, what, when you would see the difference between that medium and high, would be as if you printed it, like an eight by 10, um, then you could probably see the quality. Let's look at the lower quality. I mean, even that is pretty good, right? But let's zoom in, like on like this brush. Now notice the quality now. And then let's go back to the high quality and see if we can see the high quality when we zoom in. Is it about the same or different? I mean, not too big of a difference, okay? Um, and remember yesterday when I showed you guys, okay, here's our picture. So did I show you guys how pixels, remember um, a picture is made up of pixels. If you have like a 10 megapixel camera, it has a lot of pixels in close together to form like more detail. So if I zoom in on um, John Bay and his face, you'll notice that like his eye, See his eye is all made up of pixels, of color. So the higher pixels or the higher DPI dots per inch, or the pixel count, or um, then the smaller these squares are going to be, and then the more refined and detailed it's going to be. Okay, so that's how an image is basically uh, made up. All right, let's go back. So uh, GIF. What's the difference between JPEG and GIF? Well, GIF can only have 256 colors. No longer is it unlimited colors uh, that you can use. Um, also, GIF can be animated, and I'll show you that in a minute. They can also be interlaced. So what does GIF stand for? Uh, graphics is interchange format. Uh, used for simple vector-based web graphics. Advantage of small files, fast loading. Great for web. Okay, great for web. Uh, photos. So the photos are just going to be on the web and they're simple and not like photographs. Go web. Uh, GIFs can also be inter interlaced, loads progressively, first detailed, first blurry, but then it gets detailed as it goes on in layers. So here's an example of the GIF colors, the 256. You'll notice all the colors, like here's a color, here's a color, here's a color. Whereas JPEG, 
There's no limits to your color. You can choose any of these colors. And these are just palettes in Photoshop that I uh, captured on the screen. Here's those animated GIFs that you have as an example. And all animated GIFs are is a series of pictures. And in Photoshop, you can make a GIF by just taking the series of photos, mesh them together, animate, and then you're done. You can have this GIF file that is animated. And obviously, you can only see the animation on the computer screen on like a web, right? You can't like print this out and then that, <laughs> that little guy smiling at you is going to be on your paper. I mean, that's not going to happen, right? But notice that this is good for GIF because it's simple colors. It's like a web graphic, you know, clip art kind of stuff. So that would be good. Even stuff like this, if this was going to be a picture of uh, text, that, would, that should be GIF as well. Okay, let's, what about TIFF? What is the uncompressed version of a song? WAV file, right? WAV or Redbook Audio. Uh, same with this, TIFF is the uncompressed version of a uh, graphic. So if you're going to be printing something and you want it really big and really detailed, TIFF would be the way to go because there's no compression at all. You get everything. But that file is going to be huge. Uh, so let's say you are going to print. Well, CMYK is the, your color option, okay? In Photoshop, when you go to like File, uh, New, and then you have these options, right? There's your resolution, like the DPI or the pixel count, and that's how many like pixels uh, are close together, like 300, that's pretty good. The pixels are going to really be together. That's great for printing. 300 is like standard for printing. And here's our color mode, RGB. So RGB would be good if it's only going to stay on the web. If you have a picture and it's going to stay on the web or you're going to have a graphic. But if you're going to print it, you got to go CMYK because that's best for printing. Um, here's an example of what those stand for. So R, um, magenta, cyan, yellow, and red, CMYK. So, and RGB is the ones in the middle. So that's how they get those colors. And from those colors, you can basically make a lot of other colors. Um, PNG, what is PNG and how did it come about? Well, basically, when I was reading up on this the other day, um, GIF, there's a problem. GIF, the creators of GIF wanted to like tax and get more revenues and money from people using their format. So some open source users said, hey, I mean, GIF isn't all that. We're going to make another file format that's open to all so we can, they don't have to pay and go through all that tax law stuff. So they created PNG. Um, PNG actually became better and more use, user friendly and everything than GIF. And let me show you why. First of all, it's pronounced ping. Um, it was created to improve upon GIF. And the big thing is the transparency options. For example, um, PNG. Remember in Photoshop, there's alpha channels. If you go into Photoshop, and on the right side, there's these channels, and there's, these are our alpha channels, okay? Red, green, blue, RGB. If you change that to CMYK, you'll see four. Um, but it, it uses those alpha channels, and it still uses those colors between um, 0 and 255, but one of those colors that's optional is opacity. And what does opacity mean again? It's like invisible, or it's like you can see behind it. It's transparent. Okay, so for example, uh, let's say, oh, so see, in Photoshop, if I, this is in Photoshop, see this little checkered box? That means it's transparent. So if I drag this graphic into like a black background, you will not see this background. If it was a JPEG picture, what color would it turn? It would turn white. It would automatically turn white because JPEG and GIF, they don't have that opacity um, option. But Ping does. So Ping is great. Also, the, the even better version of Ping, it allows more colors than just these 285, so there's different versions of Ping. Um, so very good. And then there's Compress versus Resize. What's, so we're changing gears now. What's the difference between Compress and Resize? Well, first of all, thumbnails. Um, thumbnails are a small version of a big picture, so just a, like a small preview. Um, here's that resolution I was talking about, DPI, when you're setting up for compression and a document. Uh, 